this is a binomial series question and it is 3 plus twice x to the power 5 now remember they told us to expand up to the first three terms that means up to x squared a common question and a common mistake is to take up to x cubed it's not up to x cubed the first three terms means up to x squared so take three common you have to make this one 3 to the power 5 has to be common so 1 plus 2 by 3 x to the power 5 another common mistake is to take 3 common and not to write the power that's a mistake 3 to the power 5 is 243 and if you break this this is going to be 1 plus nc1 that means 5 c1 b to the power 1 so 2 by 3 x to the power 1 plus 5 c2 5 c2 b to the power 2 so 2 by 3 x to the power 2 and we don't need anything else we found our first three terms 1 2 3 okay so 243 plus 5 c1 is going to be 5 and we have 2 by 3 x 5 c2 is going to be 10 from your calculator and this will be 2 squared is 4 3 squared is 9 x squared is x squared plus dot 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 now if you multiply this this is going to be 243 into 1 is 243 plus 243 plus this plus 243 into 5 into 2 by 3 now if you use the calculator uh, let me use the calculator here so this would be 8 10 x plus this would be 1080x squared plus dot 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 so if you multiply this and do the calculation this would be the answer so remember for binomial series the basic rule is the question should be in the form of 1 plus b to the power n and it would be 1 plus nc1 b to the power 1 nc2 b to the power 2 plus nc3 nc3 b to the power 3 and that's it and you can use the calculator to calculate this 3 plus bx 3 plus bx to the power 5 we have to expand the first three terms the first thing we have to do is take 3 to the power 5 common it would be 1 plus bx by 3 and the power is 5 3 to the power 5 is 243 now 1 plus 5c1 bx plus 3 to the power 1 5c2 do this again 243 into 10 by 9 270 270 b squared x squared plus dot dot given that in this expansion the coefficient of x squared is twice the coefficient of x this is algebra coefficient of x squared is by the question coefficient of x squared is 270 b squared this is equal to twice of coefficient of x which is 405 b now from here what we can do is 270 b squared equals to 2 into 405 is going to be 810 b if you bring this to this side it is important to remember this is a quadratic equation and you cannot cancel off any value if we take b common this would be 270 b minus 810 equals to 0 so that means b equals to 0 or b equals to 810 divided by 270 and this is going to be 810 divided by 270 3 so it is given find the value of b and previously they have given b is not 0 you have to restate the answer answer b equals to 3 so we have to expand this the first three terms so 1 plus px to the power 12 is 1 plus nc1 12 c1 px to the power 1 plus 12 c2 px to the power 2 
plus dot 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 that's it the first three terms that's all we have to do so 1 plus 12 c1 is 12 px plus 12 c2 we need the calculator for this so this button here above the division in orange is ncr so it has to be 12 c2 that is 66 so this is 66 p squared x squared plus dot 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 so that's it that's the expansion in question number b let me do question number b here in question number b given that in the expansion of 1 plus px to the power 12 the coefficient of x is minus q so the coefficient of x here is 12p and that is equals to minus q that's equation 1 that's what they said and the coefficient of x squared is 11q so x squared has coefficient 66p squared and this is equals to 11q this is equation 2 so we have to solve the simultaneous equation uh, very straightforward so what we can do is uh, using q equals to minus 12p so what I'm sending this minus to the other side so q equals to minus 12p we can put it here so 66 p square equals to 11 minus 12p so this will be 66 p square minus 11 12 uh, let me check with the calculator 11 times 12 is 132 so minus 132 p so 66 p squared plus 132 p equals to zero remember in solving an equation you cannot just cancel off any value because after all it's a quadratic equation you cannot just cancel off and make it a linear equation so what we can do is take let's take p common and this will be 66 p plus 132 equals to zero so one value of p would be zero and the other value of p would be minus 132 divided by 66 which is going to be 132 divided by 66 going to be 2 so the value is going to be minus 2 so the answer has to be p is a non-zero constant so we are going to take the other value so p equals to minus 2 when p equals to minus 2 we know q is equals to minus 12 p so minus 12 p is minus 2 it is 24 so the answer is going to be p equals to minus 2 q equals to 24